even better solution. Possible we already removed uh, the crown gear bolts, E34, E30 and so on. I lubricated those parts, closed the cap and everything as, as it was. You have this available on our website. And hi again, uh, we are continuing to deal with M variable uh, BMW LSD units. In the previous video, you saw what we did with uh, first generation, the V1 unit from E46 M3. And now we are moving to V2 unit, uh, second generation, which can be found in uh, M5, E60, M6, Z4M, and so on. And after after we finish with this one today, we will moving on. We'll move on to M4, the latest generation of active differential, uh, to disassemble it and show you internals and our clutch upgrade packs. So uh, we can leave this aside and to show you what is inside of this one and our latest clutch pack to transform it from a visco clutch visco clutch type. LSD unit to purely mechanical clutch type LSD unit. If you're guys following us on the YouTube, then you have to see a complete uh, uh, restoration of E92 M3 differential that we did in our series before and after. Uh, there we showed how to replace bearings and how to replace oil seals to take care of uh, hosing and so on. And uh, there we showed how to open this collar. If you've seen it, you will know. If you haven't seen it, please check the suggested video tag and check that video right now. Uh, to open this unit, you need a special tool. Uh, we are making it. Uh, it's rather simple, but you can purchase it on our web shop. It is available for purchase along with the parts. Or if you think you can manufacture the better one, uh, you can do it by yourself. Any, anyhow, you will need some special tool to open this, to open this collar. Now uh, we'll show you uh, shortly how to, how to uh, take off uh, the ball, uh, the ball pin, the security pin, uh, to open this collar, and we'll move on to the internals. Pay attention that this is the counter thread, so uh, you're releasing it, you're unscrewing it clockwise. And that's it, that's, that's the collar. And now to take off the visco coupler. Use two levers right here. Visco coupler is out and factory clutch stack out collar spider gear assembly and we are here for the cross pins remove those small C clips so you can release the cross pins 
one on each side and one central. Spider gears and at the end bottom spider gear with shim. These are all eternals. And now to show you what we have as an upgrade, what is different between the previous set and this phase two set. As in uh, V1 unit is Mark 1 unit, the main difference is spring shim, preload shim, which will give your differential necessary preload to work like mechanical clutch type unit. You still have a free play shim, which goes in the bottom of the differential unit to uh, help you remove the non-necessary uh, free play in the output flange. And here is the Racing Gifts Performance Clutch Pack. This is what you get in the basic set. If you want a complete set, uh, advanced pack, uh, you have uh, as addition uh, bearings and oil seals, but you already seen that in our before and after video dedicated to E92M3, which has the same unit. So we will now assemble everything and show you how to do it. Beginning with the uh, free play delete shim, goes on the bottom of the diff and lubricate all components well goes down here orientation is like a cup like this facing the spider gear spider gear and then small spider gears you first firstly you mount those spider gears uh, which go uh, with uh, the complete central pin and now you need a bit of help of a hydro press because we now have a preload from Replay shim which is pushing the spider gear towards the center of the unit. And a bit more of the press. And continuing with an uh, additional pair of side gears, spider gears. Don't forget to return those small C-clips on their places. And moving forward to the upper side, upper part spider gear, clutch ring on the spider gear, this needs to go all the way down so we recommend some help on the hammer.
here. Just do a visual check on all four sides and it's ready to get the clutch back. Beginning the stack with the gear plate, outer plate and then clutch plate, outer plate, clutch plate and so on. Finishing stack of course with outer plate. And the last shim, outer plate, that's it. On the top, you go with a preload shim. And you're now ready to return the visco coupler and close the diff. But before you do that, a small piece of advice. Before you close the diff, take one output flange and align those inner splines well so later on you don't have a problem with returning the output flanges inside the housing. So, like this. and you need to press it down on the hydro press. And now we reach the final step uh, for our assembly. Uh, it is the very important step as uh, we are now measuring the breakaway torque of the limited slip differential unit that we just built. Uh, for that you need uh, one flange, output flange fixed in the clamp right here. You put a differential on it. I suggest you for this to be easier for the measuring to remove uh, small round uh, C clips that are holding the flange in the ledge uh, so you can remove it for the measuring purpose so you can do it easier. We have a special tool for this but actually you don't need one as we made a different tool which you can purchase from us right here is available on our web shop and it will help you actually it's adapter that you mount with two bolts on the output flange and you have this square to mount a torque wrench on it so uh, quite useful tool and uh, extensive adapter so you can reach for this on our website the link is in the description and we are using our own improvised and what's the point here uh, you now need to break in the clutches because they are new and a bit thicker than operational thickness. So uh, this color uh, you tighten uh, and, uh, for uh, quarter circle less than original position. We mark the original position. So you mounted a, a quarter of the circle less, see this amount and get a torque wrench. You mount it right here and you check 
you mark one point on the carrier unit and you spin the differential for two circles around. So until this point goes to two circles around for the break-in procedure for the clutches. And now we reached the point uh, for, of two circles, two circles of uh, two revolutions of uh, carrier unit, and then you're ready to tighten the, the collar to the maximal tightening position. And once you've done two revolutions of the carrier unit, you break in the clutches. Uh, you reach the optimal operational thickness of the clutches inside and you're ready to tighten the collar to the maximum position. Uh, we said uh, originally you tightened it uh, one quarter less, one quarter of a circle less uh, than the factory position. This is the, this is the checkpoint on the collar and this is the checkpoint on the carrier unit. So now we're gonna tighten, uh, tighten the collar all the way down uh, to the maximum position. Like this, and you need a little bit help of a bigger lever to tighten it all the way down. And here comes the lever. And now you're done. This is the maximal position. Differential is now ready for the final measuring of the breakaway torque. And the final breakaway torque measurement, we are ready. Slowly, watch when it starts to slip. And it's right here to show you 125 Newton meters, which is ideal for all purposes, including street driving, track, track driving, like track days, and more serious driving, like drift, time attack, circuit racing, and so on. So this differential is now ready to be mounted in the housing back uh, with the performance of the proper professional set limited slip differential. Uh, one small advice, don't forget the small C clips, put them back, otherwise your output flanges will pop out and the differential will uh, release oil, so it will be uh, leaks under the car, so you don't want that. Mount them back and put them back in the unit. If you haven't seen how uh, to disassemble and assemble the differential unit, again, check suggested video tag, we did a video about that on E92 M3, so make sure you check the whole video. This is just about uh, setting the carrier unit to uh, performance level that you want on the racetrack. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys.